Hey, everybody. Jeff Freeman here, along with John Edwards with Beyond Our World. Hey, uh, we are really excited for this coming Sunday at 7 o'clock. This is going to be Sunday, the April 10th at 7 o'clock. Uh, we are going to be talking UFO, UAP, UAP is a kind of, you know, the unidentified aerial phenomenon now that the government's calling it UAPs. Yep. Um, but uh, we're going to have an interesting show. I think we're, we're going to have two segments. Well, Jeff, um, one of them is going to be about the Nova Scotia Roswell, is it not? Yes, yes. It's kind talk, of been dubbed the Nova Scotia it. Roswell, yeah. Um, October 4th, 1967. Uh, there is something that's called the Shag Harbor Incident. Now, do you know where Shag Harbor is? I believe, Jeff, it's pretty close to a very famous island we all know. It's Oak Island. Yeah, that's right. It Bay. is. <laughs> Shag <laughs> Harbor is just a little bit south down along the coast of Nova Scotia from Mahone Bay, which, of course, is where Oak Island is. Uh, there was an incident there called the Shag Harbor Incident that happened on October 4th, 1967. Um, and it was a UFO crash. Now, a lot of people saw this and there was a lot of coverage on it at the time. Um, there was a couple of airline pilots that were flying. This was, uh, Air Canada flight 305. Mm. Um, this was about 745 and or 715 in the evening, I think. And they were flying, uh, and they saw, um, a light or a couple of lights that were following, paralleling the plane off the, uh, port side, off the mm. left side. There was actually residents of Mahone Bay that saw it as well. So, Jeff, question for you. Uh -huh. Are there any people still around that have witnessed this? As a matter of fact, there is. You're and kidding we me. are going to have one <laughs> of them awesome. with us. I'm going to bring this picture up here. This is hey. Laurie Wickens. Uh, Laurie was actually a witness to this entire thing. Wow. He and a couple of friends actually saw this craft after it crashed into Shag Harbor. They saw it. So and he saw it. Yes, he saw it. He that's there. Oh, my God. That's awesome. Yeah, I, you know, I, I had a chance to talk to him, and he, he's the president of the Shag Harbor um, UFO Society. That's awesome. And he's going to be on the show with us, and he's going to be talking about all of this. He's going to take us through all of his experiences and the things that wow. happened after uh, he mentioned, well, I tell you what, yeah, he said something about, you know, getting cut off. I, well, every time he tries to I, talk he, about it, it's weird things happen. You, so. you know, you, you, you told me about that. Like he, he'd be talking and sharing information about the incident and suddenly big brother, or whoever, you know, the line goes dead. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, you know, for whatever reason, can't seem to communicate this story yeah. in public for whatever reason. I, right. And I can't, I can't really explain that. And hopefully uh, this interview goes well and we don't get cut off. But exactly. if we do, it, it would be interesting. It would be, you know, just one of those anomalies, you know, surrounding, you know, UFO disclosure. Yeah, I know. And this is going to be interesting. I, I cannot wait. Yeah. Um, and then we have a part two now. <laughs> and part two is amazing. Yes, it is. Okay. Who do we have, Jeff? We, we have... Christian B. Roper. Now, you've got a chance to talk to him before. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Christian Roper was on the very first episode of Beyond Oak Island. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, I believe he was uh, doing some research on the treasure of uh, the pirate Lafitte. Lafitte. That is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, they were looking in the Hendricks Lake area of mm -hmm. eastern Texas at the time. Matty Blake was there. Yeah. Um, and in my talking, we've had we had Christian Roper on the show mm -hmm. a couple of times. Mm -hmm. I've actually interviewed him a couple of times uh, about Oak Island, beyond Oak mm -hmm. Island, mm -hmm. and what his research is. Um, he is also a very avid UFO um, investigator and also looking wow. into evidence of Bigfoot. Uh, so, guess where he is right now? Where, where do you think he is? Right what is he doing and where is he? Is he in he California is... looking for Bigfoot? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Actually, take it a little further south. He oh, is really? In, yeah, he's in Guatemala right now. Whoa. He is down there and he okay. is currently looking for um, evidence. Um, well, I'll kind of let him explain that. While he's there, he had a UFO experience and he got footage. He is it something footage. is it something we've seen before, Jeff? No. Nobody, no. 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 Okay. Nobody has seen this yet. He so shared this, this with me today. As actually what? today. He sent this to me today. I haven't even seen the footage. This is no, this is you crazy. haven't even seen it. Wow. Um, 
it's pretty compelling it in uh triangle shaped uh you know you've seen the the uh um you've seen different uh, things showing triangle yeah, yeah. shaped uh lights so, in the sky so, right so is it like a wedge shape with lights under it yeah the footage <laughs> oh yeah so it's christian's gonna better. be on with us he's down there he's down in, in guatemala right wow. now he he he's really fortunate i'm gonna show a picture of him and this is christian roper this is for when he was at hendrix lake with maddie blake gotcha. and all them gotcha. uh so this is christian and uh what he he's such a lucky guy i was telling him today i said you know you're so lucky because you get to be down there traveling around doing all this investigation which is exactly what i'd like to be doing um but anyway so christian's gonna be on wow. so it's gonna be hour two of the show on sunday night at seven o'clock will be christian b roper <sighs> We're going to be showing his footage, and he's going to take us through his experience of what he's doing down there and also that UFO um, incident that he... No, no, wait, hold on. So we have the Witness to Shag Harbor, which yeah. is not far from Oak Island. This is the yep. Nova Scotian Roswell, basically. And on top of it, you have footage that I have not seen. You've seen mm -hmm. that's of a wedge-shaped UFO Yep. that... Christian Roper happened to experience. Yep, exactly. And he just that's, got this like two days ago. That's it just, incredible. it just happened. How <laughs> it's going to be fun. We're going to have a lot of it's fun with awesome. Lori Wickens and Christian B. Roper. That's going to be Sunday night, April 10th at seven o'clock. Uh, you guys want to be here for this one because we are talking UFOs, UAPs, and whatever else these guys want to share with us. It's going to be exciting. Are you looking for? I'm looking forward to this. I, I'm not going to watch the footage. The will be first time I watch it is when all the viewers watch it. Yep. So okay. I want to be surprised. All right. Sounds good. All okay. right, folks. We will see you here Sunday night, April 10th at 7 o'clock for Beyond Our World with me, Jeff Freeman. And John Edwards. Don't miss it, folks. It's going to be a good one. All right. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Jeff, newsflash. Is it true? I just heard this. That Christian Roper is filming their Skinwalker this summer? Yes.